I'm sure. Oh, uh, I did my first. Matter of fact, I see you speak about Bone the other day. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell y'all a story. I did a show in Akron, Ohio. Easy E, Easy E, and some other guys. And yeah. uh, so you did a show with Easy E? Yes. I, yeah. Well, Troy, cool. Troy got me a show with Easy E. Well, so so so. Uh, as I'm walking through the event, I see five dudes sitting in the corner, like, with their eyes bucked, like they was annoyed. I'm like, dang, what's wrong with these? You know what I'm saying? Bye. So I ain't know who they was. I went and told Troy, I said, yeah, man, I said, look over there, man, like they're scared or something. I don't know what it yeah. So I went and did my show. I fucked my show up. My show, I, I forgot my whole rap in the middle of the uh, joint, but it was like one of my first shows, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't the performer that I am now, that I'm, that, you know, going to be. But yeah. so I learned. But long story short, a couple months later, it was a magazine called Murder Dog. If anybody remember Murder Dog, Murder Dog magazine, uh, Troy came to me and he opened up the Murder Dog. He said, remember the dudes you said were saying in the corner of the other? I said, yeah. He said, boom. And it was Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. So... If I ain't mistaken, that was one of their first performances for Easy, and I was I was there. With, I was you know I was there. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's funny because because years later I ran into Flesh and I got to talk to Flesh about it. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. He was like, "Yeah, I remember that show. They don't remember me, but I was there. I was at that show. So you know, shouts out Bone, but Leah Lowe, so Lil Troy took me everywhere, bro. Shouts mm-hmm. out Lil Troy. So 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 when you were out there with Lil Troy on the road. You know I, know, I know a lot of rappers that are like, I'm just out here with the rap, but were you out there pushing product too? Like, were you jumping out like some motherfuckers back in the day? Yeah, I was, but the thing is, you know, it wasn't as saturated as it was back then. And Troy had me packed down posters, CDs, flyers, so I ain't had to really do nothing. Yeah. I was the star. They bust that poster out, bam, I'm signing posters. And, yeah, so you had a little street team to do that. Oh, yeah, we had a street team back then. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah we had the street team, you know, so I didn't really start hopping out until uh, till the S. PM days. I hopped out in the little Troy days, but I didn't really have to. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's all good. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, but 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 you know, you know, once I start hopping out, I start hopping out. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I already know because you still got the grind in you right now. You're still popping up everywhere. But uh, so right now, what 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 album are you on? The Dope House OG. Well, the Dope House OG is already out there. I'm still trying to get the numbers up. Anybody that's tuned in right now, if you get time, go jam the Dope House OG. But, uh, you know, um, life is about growth, and I got a few more projects that I'm going to be dropping. And one coming up particularly is the Little Young and Manic produced project uh, that we dropping. Double CD, we're going to have a release party at the Ritz. Anybody want to come to the Ritz for the release party? For the uh, Sheedy Gonzalez for the new albums dropping come through, and uh, so that's the next two albums I got dropping. Uh, one of them is titled Sheezy, and uh, we don't know what we're going to name the Lil Young album. And then uh, right now, if anybody on my Facebook, they've been seeing me promoting Year of the Re- Year of the Rico Rats. <laughs> yeah, that's so that's the, is that going to be an album or a single? Yeah, that that's a single. Year of the Rico Rats is a single produced by Tony Rex. That's uh going to go on the Sheedy Gonzaga EP. You know what I'm saying? So, Shout out Tony Rex, man. That's one cold motherfucking producer for sure. You know Tony Rex. Make sure you tag him in this, man. You know what I'm saying? Make, make sure you tag him. I don't know why I can't see. Uh, hey, uh, 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 Paperboy. Yes. Can, can can you read some of these questions real quick? Because there's, there's people I don't know why I can't asking see a bunch of questions right now. What was your favorite? artists to work with, right? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, to work with? Mm, my favorite artist to work with. Spice One. Spice One. Spice One. I was a fan of Spice One back in the days. I jammed the, I jammed the hell out of Spice One Um. Uh, when he came out with a trigger got no heart. I stuck up in this game, I take no secondary shorts in, slam dunk these bullets into your mm, like Jordan Spice Russell. So what happened was in 2006, Grim invited me to go hang out with him in Las Vegas. And little did I know, I would be doing a record with Spice One, Cat Williams, uh, shouts out to homie Waxter and another uh, guy, I forgot his name, he was, he was a crump rapper, and Grim. 
and we worked on the project. Uh, we worked on the project in Las Vegas with Spice One, and I was a super fan of Spice One when he first came out with uh, 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 used to keep an AK in the bushes. With the second, the phone, so Spice One, shout out Spice One, man, you know, and one of the greatest artists I ever got to meet, to me, that I came up to, you know, from the early 90s was uh, D.O.C. Oh, and you the one that got me to meet him. Yeah, yeah, D.O.C. Shout sure. out to D.O.C., man. If he would have lost his voice, he would have been one of the greatest, dog. They want to know if, uh, how was it? To shoot Mary Go Round video and who thought of the idea of the girl? All that shit was low side there. Uh, yeah, it was low side there. Um, it was his idea to paint the girl, paint her face, Mary Jane. That was actually her really name. I don't know how she got that. And uh, yeah, it was pretty much low no side shit. there. Yeah, I was just a puppet in that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, do this, do this, rap, boom, boom, boom. I was back then, so I just did what I had. They want to know what's the who's the most difficult artist you work with. <laughs> Whoa, man, that's a good one. The hot seat, baby. The difficult artists I work with. Who do I want to put on blast? Who can I put on blast like that? I don't know, man. That's a uh, that's a crazy question because it probably wouldn't be nobody that uh, it probably wouldn't be nobody that uh, I, I've worked with closely because it'll probably have to be like a, 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 a like a smaller artist, like another artist that you know what I'm saying. That funny about a feature or something. Crazy. Yeah, something Some like that. Business. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But most of the artists, man, when it comes to working, because I'm easy to work with. I can get it done slow. I can get it done fast. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, uh, they also want they also want a jumbo lighter. If you got jumbo lighters, some girl wants one autograph. Oh shit, we got you. We got you. Make sure you go tune into the 21st century thing. It's all good. But yeah, man, so you know, uh difficult artists would be hard to say, bro. Uh, you know, um, you know, because uh I don't know who the difficult ones are though. You know who the difficult ones are. You know who they are? The ones that give you a call at four in the morning, oh, uh, down, man. and they hype them up to do a feature and then they be bullshit. Look, Those bro. are the difficult ones, bro. <laughs> Dude been calling me for for four years, right? I answer out of courtesy. So I'm chilling with my little baby, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chilling. Harmony Grace. Shouts out Harmony Grace. Uh I get the call, so I text him back, boom. And I call him back. I say, What's up, dog? He said, this is like 12 midnight. He said, yeah, man, I sent some dude $1,500 to do this with me. I said, you've been calling me for four years, and you tell me that you sent somebody else. <laughs> I wanted to cuss that mother guy so bad. So, yeah, man, it's a lot of bullshit people out there, but, you know, you have to learn to balance it out. You can't let them you know. So, right. you get y'all yeah, 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 Sometimes yeah. I give them a piece of my mind. Sometimes I won't. It depends on the situation of the day, but you always want to keep a cool head, cool tipper, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't be bullshit, man. Keep, you know, stay on top of your game. If you're an artist out there, have this ready, whatever you want to do, not even just artists in life. Be prepared for what you are going into. Be yeah. prepared for what you're going to do. You know what I mean? Basically, yeah. All right. NST TV and the motherfucking 